side of what's really going on in this country right now. Let me bring in Democratic Congressman Joe Sestak of Pennsylvania. He's the vice chairman of the House Small Business Committee. Congressman, is the Obama administration doing enough to create jobs? I mean, I'm hearing stories from small business people across the country that credit is tight. It's tough to get money to keep things going or to expand to create jobs. What about all that? Let's give it credit for taking some good steps to stop the creating of our economy, Ed. But no, we aren't bold or aggressive enough, nor do I believe that our first economic stimulus bill was bold or aggressive enough. Another $150 billion, every model showed you that we would have had hundreds of thousands of less unemployed today if we had taken more aggressive measures. That You hit it on the head, however. The real problem right now is the acceleration of foreclosures. In the past year, they've increased increased 35 percent and this January the 25 5 adjustable rate mortgages have an increase now in their adjustable rate mortgages if we don't have a much more bold aggressment aggressive plan to stop foreclosures we are not going to be soaking up unemployment because the small community banks are fearful that the mortgage securities they're holding on to will just more rapidly go into foreclosure Congressman, I want you to respond to this comment on this program last night from a North Carolina small businessman named Eric Perry. This is how he called it. It's, it's impossible to get this money, Ed. And, you know, what we found in our case is we got froze out just because we happened to be uh, at the wrong bank. You know, we met all the qualifications. I can't tell you how many times I've heard small construction businessmen tell me, sure. where's my bailout? A absolutely. Congressman, what about this? I mean, this is very common. I talked to another guy on the radio again today. He's going to be on with me next week going through the same thing in Denver, Colorado. It I mean, what can, what can be done to help these folks out to loosen up the money? First, we've written several letters. I have to Secretary Gaither. Now that we're getting some transparency by the Congressional Oversight Panel's reports, we have to insist that they begin lending money if these businessmen and women are walking in with historically good credit. They are too risk averse. But second hand of that has to be a bold housing vesting program where I believe in a bill that I submitted in March didn't get much support, but I resubmitted it the other day. We have to begin to address the issue of homeowners, 12 million of them underwater, where their mortgage is more than the value of their house, and begin to address the forgiving of principle. Otherwise, we are not going to have that businessman or woman be able to get the loan from that bank. One, the risk averse. Second, part of the reason is the holding yeah. on to mortgage securities. It takes a twofold right. effort. And quickly, Congressman, does the Obama economic team, do they get it? Do they have enough experience on Main Street, or are they classroom economists? What do you think? I, I wish we had a few more businessmen and women in the administration. They're doing an excellent theoretical job at the top. But you walk, see what walks in our congressional office. Yeah. There should be more emphasis on Main Street initially. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks, Thanks so me. much.